I love developer Relic's real-time strategy game, Dawn of War 2. I enjoyed the hell out of Chaos Rising, the last expansion. And from what I've seen from the upcoming standalone expansion, Dawn of War 2 Retribution, they've still got it. Retribution is gorgeous, features a campaign you can play with six playable races, and brings war to your computer screen in ways that few RTS games can. This expansion, like the rest of Dawn of War 2, doesn't bother making you build a base and harvest resources like other strategy games. Instead, you simply pick your squad or heroes, start a mission, and use what you have to get the job done. The previous game's campaigns were limited to the Space Marine Army, but this time around you can play as the Tyranids, Chaos, Space Marines, Orcs, Eldar, or the Imperial Guard, who are making their first appearance in the Dawn of War II franchise. Retribution's draw, besides being based on an awesome strategy game, is still about leveling up and collecting loot. After each mission, players can choose a reward, either gaining access to a new piece of loot for their characters or giving their army a passive buff. Additionally, players level up their hero units, giving them special abilities and filling up their equipment slots so they can customize them to their playstyle. It's light on the RPG elements, but it's enough that loot hounds can easily get addicted to it for something beyond the bloody action. During the first few missions I played, I threw down as the orcs, who are the poster child for retribution. The levels are generally the same no matter which army you play, but each army plays differently from one another. The goal is to let you play the campaign with any army you want, and to offer you slightly different experiences each time you do it. The most interesting army that fans are probably dying to hear about though are the Imperial Guard. In Warhammer 40k lore, they're generally expendable and fight in mass, and Retribution handles this in a really cool way. Build a base infantry unit, and it starts out medium sized, but each leader you add to the unit gives you additional squad members, eventually giving you a sizable fighting force. And if you have to retreat, one of your squad leaders, called a Commissar, can execute a squad member to break your flight, giving the Imperial Guard a tactical retreating option that no other army has. Of course, there are also new units in the expansion, and multiplayer players will be happy to know that there are new maps for both competitive multiplayer and Dawn of War 2 survival mode, Last Stand. The biggest thing that makes Retribution appealing to me, though, is that it's not just more of the same that we fans have seen before. My experience showed that the mission objectives vary, from standard kill everything you see, to run like hell and escape from a giant death tank. If you haven't played Dawn of War 2 before, Retribution is looking like a great way to jump into one of the most violent and entertaining RTS games of the last decade, especially since it's shipping for $30. For more information on Dawn of War 2 Retribution, go to IGN.com.